Hi, I'm Mayor Pat Fury. We know that many of our city resources are missed during this COVID-19 health crisis. So while the library is closed to keep you safe, we're going to bring the books to you with our virtual story time. I hope you enjoy it. Today's book, How the Crayon Saved the Unicorn, written by Monica Sweeney, illustrated by Verona Parker Thomas. On the edge of a town, a lost little unicorn wandered in search of a friend. He imagined all the fun he could have with someone to play with, but in his search far and wide, he couldn't find anybody to be his friend. He splashed through a river, but the fish looked at him funny. He looked up high in the trees, but the birds wouldn't sing with him. He said hello to butterflies in the garden, but they fluttered away. So he kept on his search, clop, 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 and made up games along the way. Roar, he'd howl. Help me, he'd cry. I'll save you, he'd chime back. But after a while, he still felt gloomy. Why wouldn't anyone be his friend? Ever so slowly, his purple hooves turned to gray. His sparkly stars lost their shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail faded inch by inch, lock by lock, until the rainbow was no more. Oh no, bawled the unicorn. Where did all my colors go? Where is all my sparkle? He sniffled, shuffled shuddered and sank. In a soft tuft of grass was a little box of crayons. All of a sudden, the box began to move and the unicorn perked up. Out jumped seven special crayons. Hey, who's that? said the purple one. Where are my clothes? said the dark purple one. Puh, puh, said the orange one. Wahoo, said the green one. Let's make a run for it, said the orange one. Why is the sky blue, said the blue crayon. The unicorn looked up brightly and said, Hello, I've been wondering for a while, and I've lost all my colors. Maybe you can help me. So the crayons went to work. Let's go play. So magical. You look like fun. Colors are our specialty. Stick with us. Wow, these are magical crayons for sure. Wow, what a great day. The new friends frolicked all over town. Clop, 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 and spread their rainbow colors. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Look at all the different colors. Wow. The unicorn was as happy as can be. He trotted through a field and the crayons came with him. He pranced in a garden and the crayons pranced with him. He hummed his favorite tune and the crayons hummed too. They came across a great big puddle. They hopped around the puddle and they splished and they splashed. Kawabunga, said the green crayon. Am I blue because of water? Is water blue because of me? Said the blue crayon. Oh no, cried the unicorn. Not again. It looks like the colors got wet and they're running off his body. The unicorn looked down at his gray hooves in sadness. What kind of unicorn am I if I don't even have my rainbow colors? The purple one who was hugging him said the coziest unicorn. The green one said the most fun unicorn. The blue crayon said you're very sharp. The yellow crown said the splashiest unicorn. The orange crown said so special. The red crown said a pretty great unicorn. And the purple crown said the friendliest unicorn. The crayons surrounded the unicorn in a great big hug. And the unicorn felt more confident and happier than ever before. They're all hugging him entirely. 
Ever so slowly, his gray hooves turned back to purple. His sparkly stars started to shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail came back, inch by inch, lock by lock. But this time, the unicorn felt as happy as his very own rainbow. And you see all the crayons are happy too. They're dancing around under the rainbow. Wow, that was a very nice book. Thank <laughs> you.